the worldwide leader of Japanese professional wrestling. I, I, it's real hard for me to, to try to compare New Japan to WWE and try to do it in that sort of speak. But, you know, when it comes to the worldwide leader, I, I guess it's New Japan. They're the uh, king of sports. The king of sports, exactly. Except in uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, apparently, where it's much nicer to spend your November days than in Osaka, Japan. Yeah. Talk about uh, some unsurprising, uh, yet frustrating, yet I guess really maybe not all that frustrating <laughs> news uh, coming out of the world of New Japan and WWE, where for everyone that said, oh yeah, WWE is going to let Carl Anderson go to Osaka and drop the uh, drop the Never Open Weight title. It's a new day, I've been told, with Paul running things. Well, WWE announced the Good Brothers were going to be on Crown Jewel. November 5th, which just happens to be the same day as New Japan's show in Osaka, as you mentioned, where Carl Anderson was scheduled to defend and one would think drop the said never open weight title to Hikaleo. Well, he's going to Saudi Arabia instead. There's a promo that came out today. It's hard to tell how much of that promo was was them setting something up or it was just them being them. I don't know. I guess if uh, if Carl Anderson is going to drop the title to Hikaleo, could you maybe do it at one of the shows uh, coming up in New York City next week? Maybe even have that be one of the surprise matches on Thursday uh, on the October 27th show. I don't know. I think it's probably more likely the belt just goes back to New Japan without him dropping it. But I guess we're all feigning shock today. I, uh, you know, I was a little surprised and I'll tell you why. Because it's Haku's son and... I just, if if Uncle Paul wanted to be the really cool uncle, it's like, well, okay, here's a chance to do it. You don't really lose anything with Carl Anderson going up. Because, again, in WWE's universe, who cares? No, they haven't seen the Never title. Anybody that actually cares about this sort of thing, they're not, they're going to have their opinion regardless. In the world of WWE, it doesn't matter. Most of those people either don't care, they won't hear about it, They'll hear about it and just shake it off like, oh, wow, look, that's cool. That's it. So that's why I figured, okay, there's a possibility that this thing could happen. And obviously, it doesn't look like it's going to take place that way because I don't think it's possible for you to get to from Osaka to, to Saudi Arabia. I don't know. Don't tell Hulk Hogan that. You know, yeah, but yeah it's, you know, it takes seven days to get from Riyadh to Osaka. So I have no idea if that's even like was possible. But obviously now that's not going to happen. So give the belt back, like preferably on one of those New York shows as the surprise. I doubt they'll, they're will they going to do that. I've reached out to a couple of people inside New Japan. I expected no response. I have gotten no response. I'm sure when I do get a response, it'll be either a text or an email or a DM with a little finger pointing to whatever New Japan officially has to say about this. And to be honest with you, I don't think that's probably going to happen before the end of the week at the very least. So... We'll see. Uh, this is, what can you say? You know, I if anybody stuck their neck out there for Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, I feel bad for them because, you know, it's just the situation. But, you know, that this it's too bad it had to go down like this. And it's just a another sign that, you know, much like AEW, I, that's a separate story, but like feigning shock that they would screw AEW over in any way. I mean, look, WWE's WWE, whether Vince McMahon's running it or Paul Levesque's running it, they have their own interests in mind first and foremost, and to hell with everybody else, especially your wrestling fantasies. So, you know, Carl Anderson, the only thing with him and Doc Gallows is, you know, you said you weren't going back to Saudi Arabia yet. All that drama and fallout that happened with all of that sort of stuff that was made public, that was put out there. And, you know, I just kind of throw my hands up. If that's the decision that you want to make, that's great. We don't have to worry about you now here anymore talking about New Japan wrestling. Now it's just a matter of what are they going to do with that title? You know, what's going to happen with Hikaleo? And, and that's pretty much that. Yeah, I mean, like you said, WWE is WWE. Anyone who who deludes themselves into thinking otherwise, um, you know, do so at your own risk. The Good Brothers are the Good Brothers. 
believe they're going to be different at your own risk. Uh, it's easy to be frustrated with WWE, and I'm always happy to do that. I'm not a fan of the company. I think anyone who's listened to this podcast for any period of time knows that. But really, the people that you should be frustrated with if you're a New Japan fan are New Japan. Like, you can't tell me that New Japan couldn't have or shouldn't have seen this coming. Uh, putting the title on a guy they don't have under contract, uh, guys that will clearly go for the money uh, at any given time, which whatever, that's fine. Make your money. Um, but guys that also add next to nothing to the actual product, um, it, it, buyer beware. And New Japan apparently was not beware, uh, was not aware enough to beware uh, as they should have been. And so they got what they got. Uh, you know, I don't think too many people are going to miss seeing Carl Anderson and, and uh, Luke Gallows, Doc Gallows in New Japan. Um, I guess good for him. He got his win over Tanahashi. Uh, that certainly looks uh, even less good now uh, after the fact. I think the other aspect of this, they won't do it, but the other aspect of this that would really be perfect given the conversation that we had on last week's show, now is the time to just seal the damn title. <laughs> yeah. I would be fine with that. If it disappeared, this would be a great way for it to go out, and you can put Hikaleo in a TV title feud or whatever. whatever. Again, there's a zillion and one things you can do that don't have to revolve around titles in professional wrestling, and that could be done. Yeah, it's just... Uh... <laughs> well, you almost... mentioned the TV title. I mean, that that kind of plays into everything else that we're going to be talking on in the early part of the show, because what we saw from the TV title here uh, over the past week or so, as much as you know, we talked about the unnecessary nature of the belt, everything I saw for the most part from that tournament this week only makes it more, uh, only gives more of a compelling reason to just get rid of the never title because this TV title actually has a rule set that makes it unique and interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, we see it with AEW and having all the titles there. It's nice in, in, certain ways to have a CMLL title, a New Japan title, an ROH title, a Rev Pro title defended on your show. But when you have too many, they don't mean anything anymore. And the never name, as we talked about last week, was something that came from Masato Tanaka. It was something that came in from Zero One. And it was going to be, look, long story short, it's unneeded. The IWGP World Six Man Tag Team titles sounds fine. You know, losing the Never title as you introduce this TV title, which is unique and different, that is not going to feature a lot of veterans or older wrestlers or slower wrestlers or whatever. They can compete for the IWGP title, the U.S. title, the tag, which again, tag titles in two divisions that need to be uh, rebuilt back up, which they are in theory trying to do right now, especially with like FTR and Aussie Open and Cobb and Ocon and those types of teams. And that's where I thought... Obviously, this would be hoping against hope that Alice, Anderson and Gallows could be somewhat beneficial because they can take some L's along the line to these other teams to build them up a little bit. I know that probably would be asking way, way too much, but that at least was in some of my fantasy land. Now you don't have to worry about that. So you can concentrate on these other teams. You can concentrate on all of these other foreigners that you're going to have at your disposal here you know, be really, really beginning now, but going through the beginning of the year, including at the Tokyo Dome, which is only one day. There's only so many spots. So, you know, they're, them being out is definitely going to be somebody's gain. Yeah, it, really, when you think about it, to me, the, a team or a, a group that you could say would be maybe stand most to gain would be a group like TMDK, particularly. Yes. I mean, is there anyone who wouldn't rather see bad dude Tito and Shane Haste? teaming up in New Japan, going against some of the teams you mentioned, then um, what the Good Brothers are at this point. Uh, it, it's completely unnecessary. I will not be shedding a tear if they're gone, uh, which it certainly sounds like they are. Um, and yeah, we all move on. And What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate me, <laughs> you make me mad. I, I guess seeing, seeing you guys. When you needle me. Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns. 
2016. Rufus. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops reins on the top rope. <laughs> Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm-hmm. Huh? Eh, forget okay. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.